the breath is coming in and out all the time. What makes the meditation different is that you're paying attention to it. And the more attention you pay, the better. This is a quality it's called jitta in Pali. It means mind, but also means intent. You give your full awareness to what you're doing. Because everything that's causing suffering in your life is happening right here. Little movements of the mind coming and going. But if we're not paying attention to them, we have no idea what's going on. So you have to get the mind really still, one, so you can see them, and two, so that you can have a sense of well-being as you look at them and not get carried away with them. Because all too often greed arises, anger arises, lust arises, fear arises, and then we just go with it because we have nothing else to hold on to. An important principle is you give yourself something good to hold on to. In Chamahabu's image is of climbing a ladder. You don't let go of the lower rung until you have a firm grip on the higher rung. And then you can keep going higher and higher and higher, letting go only when you've got something good to hold on to. So pay attention to the breath. Get the mind to settle down right here. Have a sense of belonging right here. Think of a cat lying in a patch of sunlight on the carpet. It relaxes, 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 and it's just a pool of cat. Try to get your mind as relaxed and into the breath as possible. And when you have that sense of well-being, then you can look at other things going on in the mind and see that you don't want to run with them, because you've got something better right here. There's always the principle of letting go. There's got to be something better. Sometimes it's because you actually see it, sometimes because after a while you've begun to trust the Buddha, that when he tells you to let go of things, you let go confident that there will be something better. But until that point, give yourself something really good to hold on to right here, so that you can see something that's visceral, immediate. And what's more immediate than the breath? It's right here. It's the closest part of the body to the mind. Of all the elements, it's the one that's most sensitive to the mind. So pay attention right here. As you pay attention to the breath, you'll become to see the mind a lot more clearly, too. And if you're coming from a sense of well-being, you can not fall for the tricks of the mind. Because in the past, the mind would promise you. Greed would make promises. Anger makes promises. Though they don't fulfill, but at least they promise you something. Maybe give you a little scrap here and there. And you go over the scraps because you're not well-fed. But now when you're Feed yourself well with a sense of well-being, staying with the breath coming in and going out. Then when the, the refinements throw scraps at you, you can just look at them and say, no thanks. Now we can get beyond them.